All right, this is Arash from Android Cowboy, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to root the Kindle Fire HDX. Now, both the 7 and 8.9 inch have been rooted along with the second generation uh, Kindle Fire HD as well. And this was uh, done uh, by J Case, uh, and I will have the link to his original file. Um, now, an automated script has been brought out, and it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to link uh, um, all the description in there for you guys to download the scripts for whichever version of the device that you have. But I want to show you guys first of all that this Kindle is not rooted. The best thing is if you just go to ES File Explorer uh, under Tools here. If you bring up this Tools menu, uh, there's actually a Root Explorer option here. If you click that, you can see I get a test fail. Uh, so that means this is not a rooted tablet, so we cannot run Root on it. So how do we get Root? Um, it's pretty easy. The first thing is you always want to enable ADV. So just go into your Settings under Device here. And um, down at the bottom, uh, sort of towards the bottom here, enable ADB. Make sure that's turned on. That's the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do is you're going to want to go and install the Kindle um, ADB drivers on your PC. And uh, I have, we'll have a link in the description there for you to do that as well. So once you've installed that, then what you're going to want to do is uh, connect your uh, device, your Kindle, to your computer uh, via the US, uh, USB. Do that right now. Okay, and after you do that, um, what you're going to get is uh, it's going to show up. Uh, let me fix this here for a second. Okay, what you're going to see is that this will show up. Um, you see, it's, it's going to show up with a yellow triangle. Uh, here, as you can see, it says Android um, as a yellow triangle. So you're going to need to update that. So if you just uh, highlight it um, and do update uh, driver software okay and when you get this um, what you'll want to do is say browse my computer the second option browse my computer for software driver and then you actually want to say let me pick from a list of drivers and and if you scroll down you should find the Kindle here because you've already installed this driver um, and once you have the Kindle hit next and I'll, and I'll say Android Composite Interface, hit, hit Next, um, hit the Yes button, and it's going to install, close. So now you can see that the Kindle now shows up as an Android Composite ADB interface. And that's very important. You're going to absolutely need that uh, for it to work. Okay? All right. So, again, you, you, you're going to need to keep this your Kindle plugged into the um, USB as it is. Okay? And now um, all you have to do while it's plugged in, you're going to pull up, um, you're going to get the automated script, okay? Um, you're going to find the one that's, uh, that's for your device, and there's um, a couple different ones for whichever version you have, okay? Make sure you unzip it. So you're going to get it as a zip file like this, and make sure you unzip it, okay? Many people uh, do this mistake where they don't unzip the file, because you can see this is a zip file, but I can still go into it without unzipping it. But if you try to run the program unzipped, it won't work. So zip it onto a folder, as you can see that I've done. Okay, Open up the folder. Um, and now all you have to do is there is a file called uh, run me, run me uh, file. And basically, if you click on it, it will now run. OK. So you can see it's already starting the root process. Now you're not going to see anything on your device, okay? It says press the enter key. It's already pressed the enter key. So you're not going to see anything happening on your Kindle. Just press enter and then press enter one more time, and that's it. And basically you're rooted. So I'm going to show you guys right now that this has been rooted, okay? Let's zoom back down here. All right. Okay. So now we're going to see that this actually has been rooted. Now again, you're not going to see anything different on your Kindle. It's all going to look the same. But now when we go to ES to ES File Explorer, as you can see, we're able to turn on the Root Explorer, and we did not get the error that we saw earlier. And we can hit the uh, Root Explorer, and we get the options now um, to uh, mount the system, which is usually uh, root access only. So as you can see. Now we have obtained root access. Now what I do recommend is after you do that, that you install the super user app because that will uh, show you a list of what apps are accessing uh, are accessing um, uh, super user. 
and so I've already downloaded it to my Kindle under downloads so I'm gonna go in there and there it is super user 1.8 I'm gonna have a link for that as well so I'm going to install that I'm gonna hit install okay and then you're going to open this it's gonna say it needs to be updated say continue and just say normal and that's it and you're done now you have the super uh, user app as well and this is going to show you uh, a list of apps that uh, uh, are requesting super user so that's it you saw how easy it was the script works really well now just remember you download the correct script for your uh, for your tablet, uh, whether it's the 7, 8.9, or Kindle Fire HD second, and that's it. We got root now. We're hopefully uh, a little bit uh, away from installing the Google Play Store um, now that we have root access and lots of other fun stuff. So for now, uh, enjoy uh, root access on your Kindle Fire HD X device.